Hi and welcome to Hi on Coding. I'm your host Mohamed Hassam and in this particular video I will show you how you can create a wizard-like registration using ASP.NET and MVC framework. Most of the implementation of this particular screencast came from Steven Sanderson's book which is Pro, Pro ASP.NET and MVC framework by APRESS. I do highly recommend that you check out the book. It's an awesome book. So let's get to it. We have a basic details and if I run the page it's going to render this particular page which is basic details to the SPX and the page looks like this. So we are taking the first name and last name and there's a next button. So when I click next it should go to address. Okay so like address input which is like a street, city and uh, state. If you're wondering where the objects are coming from the objects are over here. I have a different assembly which is business objects but you can you can include in a model folder over here also. Um, so I have a username, password, first name, last name, address. And if I go to address, I have a street and I have a city and state. Pretty simple stuff. So let's go over here, basic details. Now basic details, this is a view for the basic details. It's a HTML of begin form, the text box for first name, the text box for last name. And then since we can only move forward or next, we only have one button. One thing to notice is that I'm not using any uh, action over here and by default it's going to fire the same action that was rendered which in this case is uh, basic details and the next button is actually the name of the button so if you see over here my submit button name is actually next button so it will be passed to the controller over here now it's my duty to move it forward so I can say if next button is not equal to null then it means that the person or the user has actually clicked the next button and now we can go to the next section which will be the address details. So I can say over here, return redirect to action and I can say over here, address details. Okay. Redirect to action address details. I don't really have any action over here. So I'm just gonna say, okay action result address details and kind of like that now in the address if you see the address you will notice it's pretty much the same thing we have a street we have a city we have a state and we have next and back button the next button will go to some other uh, section some other screen but the back button should go back to the basic details where we came from before implementing the detail for the address address details action, I want to thank our sponsors, which is Discount ASP. They are very professional in their job. They are one of the best. They are one of the best companies for hosting, and they have great deals. Like right now, they have three months free and starting only for ten dollars per month. They are also one of the only companies that are allowing you to host ASP.NET 4.0 hosting. They're going to give you a sandbox. You can play around with that. And the customer service just, is just super great. They're always there 24 seven to help you. And uh, if I have to recommend one uh, hosting company, then it will be Discount ASP. So this one, since we have two buttons, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say uh, string next button and string back button. Now I can say if next button is not equal to null, then I can do something else. I can say render to action, and I can say, okay, I want to render the confirm view, okay? And if I can say back button is not equal to null, then we know that the user has pressed the back button, and what he wants is to go to the basic details. Return view. Now we don't have a confirm action, so I can always say public action result uh, confirm and return the view. I don't really think that we have a confirm view, 
so it's going to blow up if I press the confirm button okay so let's go over there let's refresh it so and uh, let's go and say back and I can type anything over here I can say next and we'll move to the next which is the address details and I can go over here and type some stuff I can go back one thing you'll notice that now the values are actually gone okay this uh, we don't we're not dealing with view state this is ASP.NET so there's no view state there's no real post back okay so we need to maintain these states ourselves and uh, we're going to check it out in next screencast uh, the only th last thing I want to say is that if you do have any suggestion how to improve the screencast or do you have any suggestions for new screencasts, you can always email me at awesomesharp at gmail.com and also do within high on coding. There's a lot of cool things going on. There are a lot of uh, very detailed articles being hosted on high on coding and all the screencasts are also available. Everything is free and uh, I'm pretty sure that you are enjoying all the information that is hosted, hosted over there. Thank you very much and uh, happy holidays.